Hey, what's up, guys? I'm back. Uh, doing another gun review. It's been a while since I've done one. I recently picked up a uh, this little pocket pistol here for about $200. It is a Taurus TCP 738 uh, .380 caliber. It's a pretty decent little handgun. Um, I personally have not had a chance to shoot it yet. However, I've obviously watched plenty of review videos. Um, and it seems to get a pretty good rating on it. There's a couple of things that some people don't like, but I mean, any handgun you get, there's going to be pros and cons to it. Um, first things first, I am going to also always do what you should do and ensure that the weapon is unloaded and treat every weapon as if it's unloaded. So I have now unchambered the weapon, and you can see I've locked the slide to the rear, so it is completely empty. Um, first couple things to go over here. The pistol, whenever you buy it, like initially it will tell you on the paperwork that it's a two inch barrel it's actually a 2.8 inch barrel so quite just a little over two and a half inches which isn't too bad um, if you have larger hands I definitely don't recommend this handgun it is pretty small as you can see here it, it fits almost completely you know in the palm of my hand um, basically you know you can see that the barrel is a little over two and a half inches long which goes here so overall um, I don't know the exact specifications on it. I would say it's probably close to about four inches long uh, from front to back. The width of it, um, both the slide and the entire frame, is about three quarters of an inch wide. So it's a little bit less than the Taurus 740 Slim that I had previously did a review on. Um, the one thing I didn't like about this pistol initially was whenever I first tried to chamber a round, which I will show you, if you pull the slide back and release it, it has a problem where it does not want to chamber properly. Um, now what I'm going to do, obviously, is drop the magazine out. I'm going to lock it to the rear, drop the magazine. Now, one thing I've discovered that you can do if you have that problem is lock it to the rear first, insert your magazine, and then use the slide release that's on the left side here, and then you can... It will, it will chamber no problem whatsoever. Um, unfortunately, I, I do like to be able to both pull the slide to the rear release and at the same time use the slide release. But, I mean, I'm okay with if it's just using the slide release. I'm fine with either one. Um, the sights on this are pretty low profile. You can see right here they're pretty low down. Um, one thing I would probably recommend doing is maybe getting like some fluorescent paint to where you can paint the front, you know, the front and rear sides. They are fixed sides, they're not adjustable. Um, there is no manual safety on this, uh, much like the, or excuse me, uh, unlike the Taurus 740 Slim series I had, those do have a safety on them, a manual thumb safety. This one does not. However, this trigger has about a five to seven pound trigger pull. You can see right here, it's it's there's no slack take up. It's well, my slack take up. I mean, it's not like easy comes to a stop and then bang. It's just a long hard pull, and it's about a five to seven pound pull. I will demonstrate the trigger pull here. You can see it's got a little slack there, and then squeeze almost all the way back, and then there's the trigger release um, to where it fires. So. Essentially, just because there's no manual safety, if you pull the trigger on this, it was definitely intentional. Uh, there's no such thing as an accidental pull on this. A um, couple of other things, there is no type of chamber indicator or anything like that on the front. Of course, with or without a chamber indicator, you should always, always, always ensure that the weapon is unloaded whenever you are, you know, uh, assembling, disassembling, doing any kind of review video, anything other than you intending on to fire that weapon, you should always make sure that it is unloaded um, unless of course you're out concealed carrying and then always keep one chambered. I hate whenever the people say, oh, I don't carry one chambered, that's dangerous. Baloney. It's more dangerous to carry one unchambered than it is chambered because if you need it in a situation, that that's a whole different story. But anyway, like I stated before, um, just a couple things, you know, just covering, recapping here. You know, the low profile sites, I would definitely recommend adding some fluorescent light um, or paint to that so that um, you know you can see your sights a little bit better uh, five to seven pound trigger pull overall the weight um, I'm not exactly sure what the exact weight is I would probably say it's around eight to ten ounces I mean it's it's pretty small pretty lightweight it's very easily concealable for now I have just a little Uncle Mike's holster I bought something cheap 
um, because I'm actually going to be getting an Alien Gear holster, which, by the way, I would highly, highly recommend. Those are the best holsters, in my opinion. So I've got a little Uncle Mike's holster here for it. Um, you know, it's a pretty decent little weapon. I, I like it overall. And I got it for $199 at um, Academy, which is the average price that you can uh, pick these up for, anywhere from $200 to $250. Um, next review video I will be doing is a review on how to um, disassemble and assemble the weapon. So I hope you guys enjoyed the review video. If you have any um, questions or comments, please feel free to comment. And I will get back to this as soon as possible. And also, if you would please, guys, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And I will definitely post um, some more videos of me shooting it and giving a review on that day. And also a separate video of me uh, assembling and disassembling. And also a little trick to kind of help you as well um, to the reassembly. Because if you do it according to the manual, it's a pain in the butt, or it can be anyway. But I'll show you guys a little secret that I learned from another video that will save you much, much of a headache. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, as always, carry on and enjoy your day.